previously on Cora's College Full House. Currently looking for Cora. We have no idea where she is. I'm the one who called the cops. Something ain't add enough. Where the fuck is she? The only other people I think she could truly have been with was like Parker. So you said there's a Parker guy yes. that the only people who didn't pick up were both Logan and Parker. I usually feel like she's wide awake yeah. in the morning. Something ain't add enough and I know yeah. for real. I literally just had the police at our house and I'm kidding. Well, I got it all on the camera, so period. <laughs> After many hours of looking for Cora and getting nowhere, we called the police and they suggested maybe Parker's and we opened the door and there she is. In f***ing Parker's bed. Um, we found her, breaking news. Breaking news. <laughs> breaking news, I'm here. <laughs> Oh my God. Of course, Cora would end up at Logan and Parker's, which are the most unreliable people. If they entered their damn fucking phones, <laughs> we would not have had to boop, 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 call the police. I said to everybody, guys, I bet you a hundred bucks that that's where she is. I don't know how I lost my phone. Like, I don't know how you like, have it. it. It's at home. I checked. Well, the police report is not being filed no, we better anymore. call whatever her name Famous. is and say Cora's still alive, sadly. <laughs> I wake up to Sydney, Kayla, and Casey busting through my door. It's I fine. was extremely alarmed <laughs> when three women bust into my room. They're like, where's our friend? I'm like, she's right here. I was actually at work, so I didn't even know what happened until I got back, and then I got the full scoop, and it was awfully funny. <laughs> so as we know, Cora, Kayla, and Parker are living with each other next year. And specifically, Cora really loves to roommate bond with Parker at 2 in the morning. <laughs> Hey guys, Cora here. Um, I'm okay. <laughs> Ethan goes, maybe she's in the snowbank somewhere. <laughs> I'm Lardy, that snowbank right there. <laughs> she's like, she sounded pretty intoxicated. I literally want to be like, well, she's always like that, so it's really not good. <laughs> Describe what you look like. Yeah, we literally gave our description. You're like, ugly, <laughs> dumb bitch. <laughs> Still there. <laughs> Or you can come up and introduce I'm yourself. Go. Hi guys, it's Cowgirl here. Sorry. She's not dead. Thank you. I went missing, I'm here. <laughs> she was a lost dog. Thank you. So Thank you. Have a nice day. <laughs> Ew, this lake. We here, bitches. Where else would we be? Where else would we be after I almost died and went home with the cops? No after other than Duncan. Can I just get a medium caramelized coffee with cream and sugar? Anyway, it is Friday now and we are on our way, me, Casey, and Sydney, to go to Madison. Sydney wants to go look at apartments for her and her boyfriend Parker to live in next year. So me and Casey that we come with her. And then we're gonna go get lunch and then probably head back. So it should be fun. Definitely not as entertaining as yesterday, but <laughs> off to Madison. We just got here, we're about to go look at the apartment. Sydney literally is gonna live with her boyfriend. Can't believe you guys have been dating together. for four years. Where's my man, for real? I am the only single one. It kind of sucks, but it's also kind of fun because I feel like everyone lives through like my stories. I love hearing about Cora's nights out. I think it's funny. I see her get home and I peek out my door and I'm like, <laughs> then she looks at me like this. And when I look at her like this, and we're both like, I live for it. Honestly, I prefer her single. <laughs> that is throwing shade. <laughs> no regrets. A lot of natural Maybe. light. Can I take pictures? It was nice. The apartment I toured, it was nice. It was a lot bigger than the other ones I'd seen. I was down for the apartment we looked at for Cindy and Parker because I'm gonna be coming to visit all the time and I need somewhere to sleep. So, sign the lease. <laughs> so we got done looking at the apartment and now we are going to get some food. I think we're gonna go to Kane's. Come with me. <laughs> Y'all see this on UW Madison Yik Yak, it is me. <laughs> Yum. First time trying cane, Sydney's never tried. Take a bite. Your tongue is yellow. Let's check that. Como se dice? What? It's like not that good. I ended up getting the sandwich. I couldn't swallow. It was. It was dry. I love canes. I love the Texas toast. I love the chicken. I want to show it up my ass. <laughs> it is so good. Okay, so change of plans. <laughs> Apparently we're going to a frat party now. Okay. I am taking an exam. <laughs> <laughs> we're literally annoying you. Oh my God, this is lame. Come on, let her film when she's done. Oh, okay, you're taking an exam. <laughs> 
<laughs> I was trying to take my exam to get it done before the frat party, but Cora did not take the hint. I don't think I'm dumb. I just think I'm stupid. <laughs> I'm just kind of an airhead sometimes. Is that bad? Laura's literally like so dumb. She never understands the simplest thing. She's like, I don't get it. <laughs> So dumb. I think that Cora can be a little stupid sometimes, putting it lightly. Uh, what do you think? I'll have to second that. Uh, <laughs> okay, I need outfit help. I have nothing to wear. It's freaking 80s theme. Who's ready for... Is this gonna be us tonight? Who's my kappa? <laughs> I didn't choose to join on the frat party because I was exhausted and I was so over it and not gonna attend a sweaty basement for my Friday night. Okay. <laughs> A giant pile of laundry that I literally have yet to put away and I'm not doing that hey so guys, anyway we are ready for the party I don't think this really makes sense the theme of the party is 80s nice basically we're sober um trying to chug this but it's not gonna do anything say hi Bye. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, I'd just like to give you a little quick room tour. So basically, if you follow me over into here, we can see. <laughs> anyway, so this is Mount Everest. I'd like you guys to see it. <laughs> um, I am simply never cleaning that up. I'm a clean person, I swear. I just literally hate putting away my f***ing laundry. Should we not go? What? I think we should. You're so ready for this. I just look like an alien and I look like a 12 year old. <laughs> I cannot deal with the Geminis in their indecisiveness, especially Cora. She literally got me hyped up because I was like, all right, look, let's go, let's go have a good time. And she's like, I don't know if I want to go anymore. <laughs> me and Sid were down to go to the frat party. We were bored. Cora's kind of indecisive, so she was like, I'm going to go. I'm not going to go. Cut the cameras. Will I'm we go? The world may never know. We went. <laughs> Currently at the party. Dope shit Dope like shit that, Jerry. Like oh, hi. Oh, Obviously, I couldn't go to the frat party because they're anti-male. But anyway, the next morning, I drove Cora out of bed and we went to Dunkin'. Honestly, I was very tired and very hungover, but I can never say no to plans, so we skirted over to Dunkin'. I look like an alien creature. <gasps> the devil horn is among us. Wait, why am I torculating? I am so stupid right now. Oh my god, this app. <laughs> okay, just take the card and log me out. <laughs> Thank you. Have a nice day. Oh my god, my gift card fell in the crevice. <laughs> this is that move your Taco Bell. <laughs> So I just awoke. It's like 2 p.m. <laughs> Tyler picked me up because I just got back home. I've never looked uglier. I'm like on a three day bender. Like, this is not good for me. Like, I don't know. I, uh... I'm done. I'm, I'm done. Back again at Wally World. Guess who's back? Back, back again. again. So, Tyler and I just went out to dinner at China House. And now he forced me to come to Walmart with him so he could get alcohol. What do we think? It's like mm. orange. I mean, I won't like, I like it. More. I know you're gonna hate it because you always try to do something new and then you hate right. it. That's the thing about you is you're always trying to do something new. <laughs> no one's feeling it. Okay, tough for the interview. I have something to say. <laughs> so the thing about Tyler is he's always trying to do something new, something innovative, and he ends up hating it. I like to try new things, but most of the time, if not like 100% of the time, I regret it. Who's ready for tonight? Sorry. They see me rolling. They that is the Zamboni. That is Papa. <laughs> that is Papa. That is Papa riding the Zamboni. <laughs> so if you didn't see episode one, here's the Papa fill-in, all right? Papa is basically, well, it refers to my grandpa originally, but now we call, like, everyone we see Papa if they're doing something weird or crazy. And basically, <laughs> that's about it. It's just Papa. <laughs> Change of plans. Um, we're actually gonna go bowling tonight. I figured we'd switch it up a little bit and go bowling instead of going out on a Saturday night. I really liked the idea of going bowling and usually I'm like, okay, that's disgusting. When uh, Cora asked me to go bowling, I was ecstatic. I love bowling and I love drunk bowling, most importantly. <laughs> I will also that. second that. So we're leaving right now. Anyway, we are going bowling tonight. I was not feeling- What is this lighting? What do you mean you 
were not feeling. Okay. I was not. <laughs> no, because I was debating going out or not. Basically, what happened is I was debating if I should go out or not. And then everyone was like, wait, what if we went bowling? So now we're gonna go with our friends Logan Parker, Cal, Mitch, and Spency. And we're all gonna go bowling on a Saturday night instead of going to the bar. I was actually pretty excited once they got me on board to go bowling because I feel like we always do the same thing. Like, I go to the same bar, I get the same drink, I embarrass myself in front of the same people every single weekend. Period, let's go. Let's roll out. Why is this Baja Blast on the ground? <laughs> what? <gasps> bowling excursion. <laughs> Who's ready? Also, this is not my idea, so if it sucks, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm literally rolling down the lane and knocking the pins out. <laughs> well, Cora and I were extra giddy before we went to the bowling alley, if you know what I mean. <laughs> when uh, Cora gets inebriated, she, um... Her brain doesn't really understand certain things. It, at times, can be kind of difficult. <laughs> okay, we cannot find the freaking okay, bowling alley. Okay, I'm below. <laughs> So, where is the bowling alley? We're literally driving in the neighborhood right now. We're confused where the bowling alley is and the boys are falling in a car behind us, so hopefully they don't get lost. <laughs> what the? Casey almost just crashed. I personally don't think I'm a bad driver, but I'd see why people think I'm a bad driver because I'd be hitting curves sometimes. She literally hit John's car in the parking lot yesterday. But I've never like injured anybody. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, this place is bumping. Oh, oh my god. Oh, we're in a bit of, oh, my camera's broken. Why? Oh, it's working now. So we're in a little bit of a pickle. We're here and all the lanes are full and they all bought bowling until midnight. So now we like don't know where to bowl. I say we stay here and it's like we can get a drinks or whatever. I'm scared. Everyone here is 12. How like, I got slushy right? because I'm 12 years old. <laughs> what is this song? Literally, we got to the bowling alley and the whole town of Fort Atkinson was there. So then we had to wait for 10 years and we were getting ourselves some drinks. Can you double fist me at the bowling alley? Oh. And then a few bowling lanes opened up. What is that? I will fully admit that I was the worst one at bowling. But like in my defense, I have not been bowling since like my eighth grade field trip. I like forgot how to do that shit. So I just chucked it down the lane. Cora was what I would describe a three-year-old bowling. <laughs> okay. Ooh, that was you better. It, but that's okay. Ew, I did better when I just chucked it. You guys suck. <laughs> Parker was doing the air guitar when we were at the bowling alley. I thought it was very interesting. He's a very interesting person. Actually, he's just like, he's so weird. Cora sometimes likes to call me weird. I wouldn't say that. I would say I'm funny. I think a lot of people think he's weird, but we're both just, I would say, pretty funny people. No, probably a little bit, actually. I'll take that back. Hey, that is a creep show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to get intimate with these dance moves. Thank you. Thank you. It smells like forks out there. It kinda does. <laughs> Good, it smells like poopy. And it I was like, I was like, like, who shit themselves in the car? I said this town smells like shit. <laughs> it didn't even smell like shit in the bowling alley, it was outside of the bowling alley. I was like, bro, who f***ing laid an egg? <laughs> outside of the bowling alley. It smelled horrible, like Parker does sometimes. <laughs> no, it smelled like poopy outside. Yeah, it does. Like, it's actually I was like, <laughs> So after we got done bowling, we were playing pool in the little bar area, and there was this old man who kept coming over by us. Literally, this old man comes up to us and starts screaming at us, and then he just kept lingering, and he was literally this old man trying to flirt it up with every female <laughs> and staring at me and Cora, so we obviously got a photo shoot with him. It was Papa. <laughs> Could have been someone's Papa. To be completely honest, Papa seems like a cool guy. Kayla, Cora, being dramatic, what a surprise. <laughs> Get <laughs> the
<laughs> Cora and I kind of wanted to stay and Casey and Sydney were like over it. I kept trying to explain to Cora that the only way we would get home is with the boys who have a small car. Yeah, so I was kind of unaware that we were gonna have to all jam pack in the boys' car for the ride home because I'm stupid. I didn't really listen when people were telling me that. I had to rot on the floor and Cora had to rot on Parker's lap. We had like a 20 minute car ride home as Parker was trying not to puke out the window because he drank too much. So that was, that was a fun experience. I don't really remember the car ride home from bowling. My favorite part of the car ride home was Parker remembering he had his drink still in the car and he was real excited about it. And then 15 minutes later when we got home, he was passed out, needed to run inside, and fell asleep on the toilet until like, <laughs> what, 2 a.m.? Recording? Yeah. I was the obese fat kid who like sharpened his teeth on chains. <laughs> Honestly, I knew that she was just probably at some male's house, but it's okay. Okay. <laughs> Ew. I woke up. I woke up. That's it. Like, ah! Hello. Oh <laughs> my god. It's the hype house on Hello. the phone. This touch up. <laughs> He's obviously obsessed. Hey, yeah, we all made out with him. <laughs> it would benefit the group if she stayed missing longer. <laughs> I'm sitting at home after the bars, feeling myself. Not literally. Ew! How are we starting? <laughs> <laughs> and then we're done. We're done. <laughs>